Hello again. I was recently asked to do a just a brief schematic of how I wired up this PWM to my trolling motor. So this is the easiest way I can do it here. Uh, we'll start over here at the battery. This is a deep cycle battery that I'm using. Uh, I've color coded this stuff. Uh, black is negative, red is positive. So how I wired it up is I ran the positive from the battery through a fuse. Um, my fuse, I believe, is a 50 amp fuse. I'm using a 55 pound thrust trolling motor, so peak it should be around 55 amps. Uh, I haven't blown this yet. I've had it wide open for probably five, six minutes at a time, and I've never blown that fuse. But you will have to put the fuse in there according to the size of your trolling motor. Um, I'm running eight gauge wire, both positive and negative from the battery over to my PWM over here. Now the PWM has a battery or an inside, a positive and negative, and it has a, a motor or an outside, positive and negative. So from the battery positive to the battery positive on the PWM or the inside, and same with the negative. Now I also have a fan in my PWM box to keep the thing cool because it does get pretty warm. Um, these wires are fairly small. Um, the 22 gauge hole in my wire strippers was a little big for the wire, so they're probably smaller than that. This little fan motor draws less than 0.7 amps, I think. So the wire is very, very small. So what I did, instead of trying to mash it in with the eight gauge wire that I used for the positive and negative here, is I soldered it on underneath the circuit board where the holder for this clamp on my wire end goes through the circuit board. There's little solder joints there. I just soldered them into that solder just because those wires are so small. And the way I have mine set up is I disconnect it here to take it in and out of the canoe just so I don't have all this wire because I put my battery at the front of the canoe to give me better uh, counterbalance I guess so the front of the canoe is not sticking way up in the air I put the battery in my tackle box and all the heavy things right in the front to try and level it out when I'm by myself so these just run in underneath the uh, the mounting posts I guess on the PWM and then from there the motor or the outside of the PWM those wires same thing negative goes to the negative of your trolling motor and then the positive same thing goes down to the positive of the trolling motor and that's it and these four terminals here I have uh, they're screw mounted and then I put spades on those so that I can disconnect them easily just so I don't have to carry this whole unit as one piece these wires come off and stay with the trolling motor and then these wires come off so I can wind them up because this is the longest section here. I didn't want these great big long wires to be attached to this box. And then that way I can put it all inside a, uh, a Rubbermaid tote. So I hope this helps. If you got any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. And enjoy.